Hello everyone, welcome to Sai Ease. In this video, I am going to discuss image formation by convex mirror. In the last video, I told you how to draw the ray diagrams for the concave mirror. Here, we will draw the image formed by the convex mirror when the object is at infinity and second one when the object is at finite distance. Only the two ray diagrams we will draw here. This is the convex mirror, the reflecting surface. It is like this, the rays they will strike here. Okay. So, the first case when the object is at infinity means the object is quite far off. That is why I have put these dotted lines. The ray, rays parallel to the principal axis, they will strike the reflecting surface and then these rays they will diverge. I have already told you that the convex mirrors are the diverging mirrors. Okay, the rays will diverge and when we produce these rays backward, what we will see that they will pass through the focus. Okay, so the two rays, they are meeting at principal focus and here diminished, very diminished or you can say a point sized image that is formed at this point. Okay. So, what will be the position of the image? It is at principal focus behind the mirror. And what will be the size? It is highly diminished or point sized. And type of the image? That will be virtual and erect. In case of convex mirror, virtual and erect image is always formed. Okay? This you must remember. So, right here at F behind the mirror. Okay? This is the position of the image. Size of the image? Point sized. Nature of the image you must write whenever it's asked that draw the ray diagram. When the object is at this position, then you must write these three points. That is a position, size and type. Type means virtual and erect image that is formed. Okay. This is the first case when the object is at infinity. The second case is when object is at some finite distance means between infinity and pole of the mirror. So, object is here. AB is the object we have taken. This is the convex mirror. The ray parallel to the principal axis will strike the reflecting surface of the mirror and this will diverge. And when we will produce it, it will pass through the focus. That is clear. Okay. Then this ray that starts from this point and it will, when you will produce it behind the mirror, what you will say that uh, C that this will pass through C. Okay. And the, and on the same path, it will return back. Okay, arrows they depict the direction of the ray. So, you must put these arrows. Now, where these two rays and this is the ray, uh, this will, this and where these two rays they will intersect the image A dash B dash which is smaller than the object will be formed. Okay, so position of the image, what will be the position? It is between pole and focus 
of the mirror behind the screen and what type of the image that is formed that is virtual and erect so position of the image between between p and f behind mirror behind the mirror okay size of the image smaller or diminished you can say smaller and type of the image it is always virtual and erect so i think the two ray diagrams they are clear to all of you one thing uh, we have read about the image formed by the plane mirror by the concave mirror and by convex mirror there is a big tree somewhat very far off if we want that the image of that tree full length tree we should look we should have so what type of the mirror that will be taken for that मैं ये कहना चाह रही हूँ आपको कि बड़ा ट्री उसका इमेज लेना है ओके थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द मेरर्स वी हैव रेड प्लेन मेरर कनकेव एंड कन्वेक्स सो कौन सा मेरर इन तीनों में से हम लेंगे ताकि उसका पूरा ट्री का इमेज आ जाए कौन सा लेंगे कन्वेक्स कन्वेक्स मिरर लेंगे और उससे हमें पूरा इमेज जो है ट्री का मिल जाएगा सच टाइप ऑफ द मिरर कॉन्वेक्स मिरर दैट इज यूज एट आगरा फोर्ट सो दैट जो उसका टोम है ना वो पूरा उसका नजर आ जाए आप यू यू शुड सेट योर पोजिशन बिफोर दैट मिरर सो दैट यू कैन हैव अ लुक ऑफ दैट टोम okay so convex mirror that is used in that case now i have told you about the uses of concave mirror again it's important write one or two uses of convex mirror that's again important for one mark question so what is the use of convex mirror can anyone tell that is used as a rear view mirror in case of all the vehicles you have seen that in vehicles at in car or in scooter or in truck everywhere that rear view mirror that is used towards the sides of the uh, vehicle so that the view from behind view from behind that can be seen clearly up to quite a large distance it will cover okay and no doubt the image that will be smaller that will be smaller in size but you can have the safe driving when you see through these rear view mirrors so spherical mirrors i have told you in the next video i will take up some another topic of this chapter very important topic again okay so till then thank you very much